Hey guys, we're at H Plus Technology in Vancouver. They are a tech company that are working in uh, gesture-based uh, interaction technology and stuff, kind of like connect and leap motion type things. And I'm here with Drew, and he just gave us an awesome presentation on everything that they've that they're got going on. So uh, basically, Drew, what is uh, what's H Plus Technology's goal? What do you what do you what do you, what are you passionate about seeing? Our goal, essentially, our vision is to humanize technologies. And essentially, it is to take uh, all these different senses and, uh, you know, create, uh, you know, wonderful back-end algorithms that can adapt to human behavior. We want to create, uh, you know, technologies that are meaningful to people, that are human-centric. And people don't spend a lot of time learning. Rather, machines spend time learning human behavior. And that's our, you know, uh, overall vision for the company. Right. Yeah. And in, in the demo you showed us, it's very, you know, intuitive gestures that you're using. You know, you're swiping over, you're swiping down, and then to go into something, you kind of, you, you pull your arms apart like you're peering into something. So yeah, it is very natural. So I mean, uh, the things that you've shown us are, uh, they, you know, they kind of have a ton of applications. You can imagine. Uh, what are some of the main ones that you guys would be would like to see? Yes, uh, we actually have, uh, and that's why we have three product lines. Uh, one of the main product line that we have is information system. Uh, we see this being used in public spaces uh, for conferences where, you know, a uh, presenter doesn't have to use any in devices, right? Can be hands-free, focus on the information, and be natural at the same time, right? The other, some of the other applications that we have been seeing are in exhibitions for product showcase where other companies can approach us and they can showcase their own products where their consumers can very naturally and intuitively browse through their products and retain this information for a longer period of time because it is much more natural and interesting as compared to traditional media such right. as uh, brochures. Yeah, and I, I think we, uh, we saw in the videos you were showing us that you guys went to Maker Fair. And so there are a lot of kids playing around with it, and they seem to have a good time with it. And you're at Science World as well. Yes. And uh, so that, that was definitely cool. I wish I was there for that. So with your different products, uh, so you, you have the Expo uh, system that you were showing us. So that's the main one. And then uh, what else specifically do you do uh, products do you have? Yes, and then there's the third one, which is the showroom system. Essentially, it's a 3D uh, virtual environment walkthrough system where any particular user can walk through an environment uh, with a very natural, again, hand gesture. And all the gestures that we essentially use are very, you know, uh, they have a metaphor with real life. So the learning process is quite low in that sense. The learning curve is very not, not that steep. Um, uh, and this uh, particular showroom system can also be used for training and simulation purpose or uh, for, uh, you know, tourism purpose. Yeah. We, we've been approached by uh, other government bodies from other countries, essentially, you know, to do city planning using that showroom system. Planning on making any uh, first-person shooters using that or anything? Definitely. <laughs> As you can see, we have a lot of gaming peripherals yeah, here. I was, I was looking. He's got like a, a hardcore gaming mouse here, backlit keys. Man. Yeah, it's time to replace all of that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> time to come to NCX. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and and in the demo you're showing us, you know, you it's you're saying that it's just you can navigate just with your hand movements. Yes. Um, so the idea here, uh, we have created an essentially a standard gesture library through which, uh, and essentially a lot of testing and research has gone behind that. We have had people from different backgrounds, you know, from different cultural backgrounds, from different age groups. And essentially we had them perform this gesture again and again, and we had our algorithms learn it over time. Right. And that's how we found, you know, the sweet spot for all these different gestures where, uh, you know, accuracy can be... Uh, comparatively higher enough in public spaces, like a confidence level of around 90 to 95 percent, wow. where they won't miss a gesture. And wow. yes, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, like I was saying, it's very intuitive, yeah. Um, and so the other thing that we, we were seeing is the 4D box. I don't know if we're, are we allowed to talk about that? 
uh, I can talk about a little bit of vision behind that and where we are heading in future. Yeah. So feel free to ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, it was definitely cool to kind of see like that holographic thing going on, and it's also uh, so it's supported by the the gesture control that is also used with the the expo system and uh yeah so what do you guys what are the applications that you have in mind for that i mean obviously uh showrooms and, and gaming even and medical professions i mean uh so when do you think uh, I, I don't know if you're allowed to tell us the timeline for when that's coming out but uh what's the general plan with that uh general plan with 40 books is definitely we are going to you know come up with a very interesting product uh during christmas right where you know consumers will be able to buy and use it um and uh, yeah that's that's about the plan and we'll be of course doing a lot uh, you know we are we are working with some of the big clients out here locally and we'll be performing some very interesting projects with them yeah. where we will essentially showcase the vision of you know this natural interaction the the paradigm of natural interaction awesome well i mean it's really exciting stuff and uh we we're uh, very thankful to have you uh, bring us in and take a look at your stuff. So thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks, Riley. Okay.